Hey y'all, hey. Happy Monday, October 11th. It is National Coming Out Day, so we're gonna do a little story time. But first, if you're new here, I am Daily Showers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're not new, thanks for coming back and supporting your girl. I am sitting in a car. It is going down raining. I just dropped my daughter off at school because she missed the bus. So we're gonna sit here and do a quick story time on how I came out. Some of you guys know I used to be married to a woman. Been with women 95% of my life. 90, I'm gonna say 96% <laughs> of my life. And so I'm gonna tell y'all the story time on how I came out. Yeah, I know I ramble when I get off track, but it's all gonna make sense. She's like, why y'all telling me? Why she telling us these? It's gonna all come together. So, <clears throat> I moved out. Okay, I got scared in <laughs> the thunder. It is pouring down. But I moved out when I was 17 and got my own place and was doing my own thing i was raised up in the church so no i wasn't raised like that i believe you're born like that that's just my opinion not necessarily something that i would want for anybody that's just my personal opinion being with the same sex is not for sport don't do it cuz the men's is acting up and they ain't doing right if it's in you it's in you but um so I moved out I was still going to school but in my own place I could do what I want freely in my mama's house you got to sneak so I had a boyfriend but my boyfriend had a boyfriend <laughs> and so we was really like cover-ups for each other my mama did not know but she loved him to death he did take care of me but he had a little he was bisexual he did take care of me though when i was living with her but when i moved to my first apartment i could do what i want but i didn't i didn't date women i still was dating guys just not intimate with them which when you're not intimate with a guy, they cheat because they want intimacy. You know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And I'm stingy with it. Sorry, TMI, I'm stingy with it. So anyway, I was just going to school, going to work, going to school, going to work, going to school, going to work. Well, I moved out of that place because it got broken into. And I moved into back at home with my mom for like two weeks until my unit was ready now this particular unit i was dating women but it was on the south side of st louis it was not in a very good area on the south side of st louis i had mice like nobody's business and i was barely at home I told the landlord i was 18 at this time Told the landlord, I'm not paying you until you get rid of these mice. I'm not paying for extra house guests. Like, I didn't ask them to be here. I didn't invite them over. And I couldn't get my gas on, y'all. Because I had mice. And the, the man come running up the steps and through the hallway. And I'm like, what's going on? I come running down the steps. He like, it's rats in your basement. And mind you, it's a storefront apartment. So I'm sure... In, my unit, the basement, we all share the, the same basement. So it's not just me. It's a storefront and it's got like maybe seven other units. And I just moved in. So I know I didn't bring them. And so um, I couldn't even get my gas on because the man was scared. He was like, it's rats and eventually they're going to come upstairs. I'm like, rats? Like, you know, I ain't, we ain't, I ain't never grow up with rats. What the hell? I'm like, mice, he like, no, rats. 
I never went in the basement to find out what the rest looked like. I didn't want to know. So one day my car wouldn't start and I, my phone wasn't working. The, the, the phone people came out and said the rats had to do my car. So I used the cell phone of these Jamaicans that stayed on the corner up over the store. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I went in. Y'all, though, my neighbor is taking her baby. Oh, she wants to the car. I didn't let her use my umbrella. But anyway, because baby don't need to be standing at the corner with no getting wet. But anyway, I was going to stop it. Um, I go in from the bottom of their steps all the way through their house. It's nasty. And I mean nasty. Clothes everywhere. It was peace. Like they were just trying to see who piece was going to stick to the ceiling. His girlfriend worked at Lee's Chicken. I don't know if y'all ever had Lee's or know Lee. It's Lee's Chicken boxes everywhere. He was like, you can use the phone on the wall. I go walk to get the phone on the wall. I'm ordering my steps, y'all. I step down, it's a person in the kitchen under all these clothes, it's a bed, right under the phone. He like, oh my balls, my balls. My bad bro, he didn't tell me you was up under all this filth. And I'm like, this is where the fucking mice coming from. Excuse my language, but that's what I said. I was like, this is where the mice coming from. So I hear him call my brother and get up out of there. So I'm scared of the mice. One day I see one in my house. Now they just mice, they wasn't rats. But he said eventually the rest was gonna come. And so, um, you know, in my house, you can barely see them, but um, I seen a few and I was back and forth. I'm off subject, but I was back and forth at my mama house to make a long story short. <laughs> I would have my little friends, girls come over my house. We hang out, my best friend had moved in. Her mama put her out, and I was finna have my bestie out in the streets. We young. We young ladies. We young. Ain't nothing open after 1 o'clock but legs in the convenience stores. And we're not finna have that. So, I let my bestie come stay with me. But we was back and forth at our mama's house. And one day, my mama was like, why is all these girls I'm finna just get to with y'all calling my house? Now, mind you... I ain't really never had no female friends, just my best friend. I still don't have no female friends. It's crazy. I date women, but I don't have no female friends. I need friends, y'all. Y'all looking for friends. Because some people don't know how to be friends. You say you gay, and they think you're trying to hit on them. No, I know how to be a friend, strictly. Or you say you gay, and they got... They boyfriends don't want you to be friends with. Um, just because you're gay or bisexual don't mean you want all women. I'm choosy and I'm picky and I'm also stingy. So anyway, I just came out with it. Like she was like, "Why is all these girls coming to my house?" And I was like, "Because I'm gay." Guys like that. That's how. That's how. <laughs> <laughs> that's my mama. And she sat there quiet for about 15 minutes. And then she exploded. God made Adam and Eve, and I had you, Stephen. That's a total abomination. And oh, where did I go wrong? And I had these many sons and one daughter. And, I, and I'm like, Mama, I'm still a girl. I'm the girl in the relationship. I'm still a girl. Oh, I ain't going to never have no grandbaby. You got all these sons with working equipment. You're going to have grandbabies. She was like, no, the boys, when the boys had the babies, it's more of the girl's grandmama. It didn't work like that because my niece came and she was with us all her life. She's still with her daddy right now as we speak. And she's 22 years old. So, tee hee hee, mother. I know she's going to watch this. So that's how I came out to my mama. It is national coming out there. It was a quick story. But, you know, in my house, you free to do what you want freely. But, you know, girls calling my mama house. And that was not like a the norm for me. 
to have a bunch of girls calling my mama. Now, I wasn't involved with all these girls, but it wasn't nothing but like three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, three. And I was, one of them was my girlfriend. And I didn't have a cell phone back then. They wasn't rocking popular. I had one, but at that particular time, I did not have one. But baby, she turned blue in the face. And I was like, you, you can keep screaming to the top of your lungs. You keep on till you blue in the face. I'm still gonna be gay. I'll tell y'all how my daughter came about later. And this little one later. I know y'all have a lot of questions, especially regarding my child's father, this child that I'm carrying. Father, he did not sign up for YouTube. He a little shy. But I am really working on getting him to do a video, even if it's him sitting over there and it's just the voice, him talking to y'all since he don't want to be on camera. I'm working on it. But that is my coming out story. It is national coming out oh damn you haven't came out free yourself either they gonna love you or they not free yourself because being in that closet and tiptoeing around do you really want family that don't want you wholeheartedly like my my mama accepts me wholeheartedly she never stopped loving me she just didn't understand why. She just didn't understand how. She thought she did something wrong, and she didn't. It was nothing she did. It was just who I was and who I am. And I prayed and prayed and prayed, and all of this transformation is God. It is not me. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm 100% not into women because they will be, be lying. But this is me trying. This is God ordering my steps. The rain so disrespectful. I'm telling them about you, Lord. I'm putting you in the video. We know you did it. I prayed and you delivered. You delivered. Can you stop the rain for a second? The rain is disrespectful. Just the, there we go. Thank you. You, y'all. I'm telling you, God don't play about me. He, he heard my cries. Okay, I ain't gonna get beside myself. Y'all seen that light? And he was like, don't get beside myself. But this is him working on me. This is what prayer does. If that wasn't for me, if that wasn't the life I'm supposed to live, I told him to remove it. I asked him, I ain't tell him. I'm, I'm, I'm fixing my words. Y'all heard it. He getting on me. I'm fixing my words, I'm sorry. You know my heart, you gave it to me. Quit playing. You know, I'm a, I got some sense of humor. I'm made in your image. Um, But anyway, this was with me praying and asking God to deliver me from anything that was not meant for me. That if I was doing it and it wasn't something that you gave me, make sure I like it if you're going to give me something different. I got to like it. I got to be able to put up with it. He ain't gonna give me more than I can handle. And he didn't. He really didn't. And I thank him for it. If this was what his plan was, I accept it and I receive it. And everybody don't believe in the Lord. Whoever you pray to, whoever your Alpha and Omega is. This is not a preaching session, but it is National Coming Out Day, and that's how I came out. I appreciate every last one of y'all for stopping by and supporting me. I'm just sitting in the car, can't breathe. And supporting me, if you're new, like I said, please consider um, sticking around and joining the family. If you like story time, leave it in the comment section of story. I got lots of them. I'm trying to get back to, to my YouTube roots because I've been gone a long time for personal reasons. I've been going through a lot. So, um, come on back. Drop some suggestions of what y'all want. If y'all got questions, leave me in the comments. I try to answer them. And if I don't, I try to do a video on it. I love you. God loves you. And until next time, toodles.